Morning everyone and welcome to another episode of Liam's Daily Reviews here at Northam's Haunted Book Factory. First of all, just want to apologise once again for the audio. Uh, on one side we have a mechanics, on the other side I don't actually know what they do over there but they make a lot of noise and all that construction noise doesn't really go with my book reviews being in a pleasant little bookstore. So as of tomorrow I will be recording these reviews at home. But don't worry, they're still coming every single day. So, today, let's get to it. I will be reviewing David Morell's First Blood. Now, this book came out in 1972, and it's David Morell's debut novel. For a first novel, it's fantastic. Um, now, straight off the bat, spoilers. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. In order for me to talk about this book properly, there are loads of spoilers. Well... Just one huge one, really, but it's a big one. Now, First Blood, of course, went on to spawn the film First Blood, which spawned the series of Rambo. Now, the first movie came out in 1982, um, called First Blood, starring Sylvester Stallone. And book and movie tell the tale of veteran... His first name isn't clear in the book. In the movie, they put the name John on him, so John Rambo. Um, it's about a veteran who returns home from the Vietnam War with PTSD, and his mental illness prevents him from being able to find work or function in a normal way, and he, he is a vagrant. He, uh, he comes to a town in Kentucky where the local um, police chief uh, gives him a hard time and kicks him out of his town. Now, Rambo keeps returning, so the police chief and his officers arrest him for vagrancy. Um, this doesn't go down well with Rambo, as while he's sitting in the cold cell, he keeps getting flashbacks of being in the jungle and being at war. When they try to shave Rambo and cut his hair, he lashes out, beats up one of the cops, and slashes another one with a straight razor, escaping on a motorbike into the hills. Now, uh, this sparks a huge manhunt uh, with the police chief and local police officers and local civilians get involved to try to track this man down, who technically didn't do anything wrong to begin with, but was just being terrorised. Now, the difference between book and movie is the movie, you know, you sympathise with this character in both mediums. Yet, in the book, he's much more crazy. He's... Uh, He's much more of a killing machine. He doesn't care who he kills. You know, he kills innocent people in the book, uh, as well as police officers who have been antagonising him. And, uh, you know, uh, the, it, it really hits upon what happened to our, um, our veterans of the Vietnam War, you know. Um, you know, the mental illnesses they suffered, how they were looked down upon when they returned after Rambo in the book won the Medal of Honour for uh, saving a bunch of people in the war, yet he can't get a job and he's, you know, looked looked down upon when he comes back to America. So it's a really one-on-one uh, -on -one fight between the police chief, Tiesel, and, and John Rambo. Um, Tiesel in the movie is played by Brian Dennehy and he plays such a good jerk that uh, when I read the book, I picture Brian Dennehy in the book as the guy and they both got their pride and they both think they're in the right so they're both just really gunning for each other so eventually Rambo makes it back into the town and starts blowing the place up and killing everyone and going on a rampage this gets the attention of Rambo's old colonel uh, Colonel Sam Troutman I think that's how you pronounce it he comes to explain to the police chief all about Rambo's past and how you pick the wrong guy to mess with and uh but see in the in the movie uh Troutman you know sort of wants to save his boy you know cuz he trained him and all that kind of stuff whereas in the book it's like he he knows you just you have to kill Rambo it's the only way to stop him you got to put him down he's a monster he's snapped and there's no going back now there's a favorite scene in the book that really stuck with me the first time i read it now Rambo's lost in the mountains and he has to make something, some clothes because he's freezing, but he also has to eat something to keep his energy up. So there's a big old owl flying around and hunting one night. So Rambo captures this owl and eats it. Now when these survivalists like 
books and movies, a lot of the times in the movies, it's like, yeah, you know, this Green Beret, he, he knows how to survive on anything. He could just eat that thing and just, you know, it'd be fine. The way that David Morrell describes the taste of that owl in the book, it is so disgusting. Rambo can barely eat it, can barely keep it down, and it turns your stomach just to read that scene in the book. It's so real. Um, yeah, it's my favourite scene in the book. Kind of strange, but it's just it's just so well written. Um, so, yeah, Rambo starts blowing up the town, and uh, this police chief has to hunt him down. Now... Spoilers coming up. So if you really want to read the book and you don't want spoilers, just stop now. I won't I won't hold it against you. But uh yeah, so the movie Last Blood is now at the cinemas right now in 2019. So Rambo has made Rambo. Uh the first one is called First Blood, the second one is called First Blood 2, third one is Rambo 3, fourth one is just called Rambo, and this new this latest one is called Last Blood. Now, here comes the big spoiler. In the book, Rambo dies. So, there can't be any sequels. And that's like the whole point, you know. He can't function, he can't keep going. He had to die at the end of it. And the person that kills him is his colonel. Gets a shotgun and boom, just blows his head right off. And Rambo doesn't see it coming. He uh, He's actually about to blow himself up with a stick of dynamite. Um... But then he sees the police chief and he thinks, no, I'm going to kill the police chief first. And he does. He puts a bullet in the police chief. So the police chief is bleeding out. Rambo's bleeding out from a chest wound. And then Colonel Troutman comes up behind him and just blows the top of his head off with a shotgun. Rambo dies. He walks over to, uh, to the police chief. And then just for a second, the police chief, just before he dies, he feels a bit of empathy for Rambo. And he dies peacefully. And when Rambo dies, he thinks just for a second, maybe he was wrong about anything, everything. Maybe he will see God after all. And it's so sudden and it's so brutal. It's it's a fantastic book. I prefer the book to the movie, mainly because he doesn't make it. And that's what would have happened. Um, yeah, so I'm talking about this because Last Blood is at the cinemas. Now, Sylvester Stallone plays Rambo. They picked him for the film because Rocky 1 and 2 were so popular. So those films came out first. And, uh, yeah, it was a success and went to spawn all them sequels. I recommend all of the sequels except for 2 and 3. I think 1, 4, 1 and 4 are great. I haven't seen Last Blood yet, but I think I have it downloaded. So I might actually watch that tonight. But, yeah, so please check out Last Blood. Sorry, check out First Blood before you check out Last Blood by David Morrell. And that is the last review here in Liam's library. It'll still be, it'll just be my library at home from now on. So tune in tomorrow where I will be reviewing a very popular novel by Gillian Flynn called Gone Girl. Thanks.